Hello and welcome to Musings and Messages. I'm Sharice Williams, spiritual guide, author, paranormal investigator, here to deliver this week's Musings and Messages. <laughs> this is a weekly video where you get the chance to pick your own cards to receive your messages for the week ahead. Uh, and before we jump into that, we kind of go over some musings and this can be just crystal information, spiritual tips and tricks, or today we're going to be pulling from the Universe Has Your Back deck and I'm going to pull a card for the collective of what does the collective need to hear right now. Oh, okay, my ear is going So my intuition is, spiritual stuff is happening. <laughs> spiritual stuff is happening, which actually that makes me think of the last video I just posted is your psychic gifts plus ghosts. Even if you're not a ghost hunter or paranormal investigator, you can watch that video and it talks about the different psychic gifts and how you might know which one is yours and also how you can work with that gift and hearing the ringing in your ear and the like the buzzing is uh, a sign of clear audience. Anywho, I digress. All right, we're going to pull this card here for the collective and hopefully you can't hear any background noise going on because I have this super goofy looking but helpful wireless mic here to hopefully tune out Miss Lucy Luna, where if you've been here and you've watched my videos, you know Lucy is my very vocal puppy dog and she likes to make sounds. And then I've also got my door open here. So hopefully this wireless mic cuts down on uh, like background noise and stuff. All right, message for the collective. Oneness is my true nature. And I love these cards. I love, they're all so pretty and uh, simple. I like that. Oneness is my true nature. I'm sure you've heard the saying before, we are all one. We are all united and connected. And But we really are. <laughs> we literally are. Oneness is my true nature. Uh, I could go on to this whole like spiel of how different atoms and molecules connect to each other. I, I can't think of the name of the study right now. If you know the study I'm talking about, feel free to put it in the comments to remind me. But where they um, they had two different, I think, like atoms or like energy particles Clearly, I'm not the scientific person here, um, but they had them on like two different sides of the world or something. And it was like whatever they were doing to the one particle, the other one was reacting to it, kind of showing that like how energy is actually connected. Anyway, we really are all connected. If you think about it, too, we all have our auras and our, our hearts radiate an electromagnetic field. And we are constantly like our energy is meshing with each other and connecting with each other. We are literally, again, you've probably seen that quote or that saying, like, you are made of stardust. But literally, we are made of the stuff of the cosmos. Like, we are all connected to the universe, to each other. And it's important to remember that and to remember that we are so much more alike than we are different. There's so much being pushed at us as a people, as a collective, to try to keep us all divided and fighting amongst ourselves so we're busy fighting over here and we're not paying attention to what might be happening over here. Uh, and, you know, if, if you're fighting amongst each other, you're not fighting other things that maybe should be fought for. Um, you are distracted. And I think the message here really, and especially moving forward as things start to shift and things start to crumble, more than ever, it's important to realize that your neighbor is not your enemy. Just because somebody may have some different beliefs than you doesn't make them your enemy. Just because they don't fit into the same box as you do, which let's also be honest, none of us fit in a box. None of us can cross off all of the <laughs> all of the things on a list. We are all so different. Okay, that I don't know if you could hear that if the mic picked it up. Lucy sounds crazy and like she's going to eat the cat, but that's she's just she's a vocal doggy who sounds scary, but she just wants to lick lick the cat and lick everybody. Anyway, uh, and now I don't even know what I was saying. The point is, is that we are all so much more alike than we are different. None of us fit into a perfect box. So how could we expect other people to fit into a box when we ourselves don't fit into a box? So just now and moving forward, we are so much more alike than we are different. We literally are all connected. I'm not saying that truly problematic people that you need to be like, come on, let's hang out. It's cool you know, you are a horrible human being that does really like God awful things. Like, that's cool. That's fine. We are one. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent and Lucy's distracting me. So we're just going to end the musings portion of the video now. But the point is, we are all one. We are all connected. Remember that we are all much more alike than we are different. 
Alrighty, on to the messages. Before you pick your cards, we are going to do three breaths together. We are going to breathe in through our nose, nice and slow, filling up our abdomen with air, and then we're going to exhale out of our mouth, nice and slow, uh, like I said, three times. And if you're able to, go ahead and close your eyes. <clears throat> All right, we're going to breathing. We're going to breathing. <laughs> we are breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. And the third time, breathing in and out. All right, option one or option two. All right, if you chose option one, we have the Two of Cups. Oh, and I don't think I said we're reading from The Muse Tarot by Chris Ann. And we are reading from the Wisdom of the Oracle. Option one, Two of Cups and Higher Power. All right. So the energy this week for those of you, I don't know where I cut off. <laughs> Lucy was being distracting again. Um, and so I had to stop the video and now I don't know what I was saying. Um, Okay, those of you who chose option one, and if you're new here, by the way, it's not always this chaotic, but you know what? It's real life also, and I don't always edit out all of the imperfections, and that's okay, because, you know, you can't edit out life. Anywho, that was kind of profound. You can't edit out life. Okay, anyway, those of you who chose option one, this week you will be finding a newfound balance. Uh, you may have been feeling kind of out of balance, out of sorts, and this week you will be finding a newfound balance, which is nice. And it could be because Mercury is out of retrograde now, and so communications and relationships and things like that may be running a lot more smoothly, and I think that you'll really be feeling that this week. Uh, this is also kind of a connection with yourself, and the fact that we have the higher power as well. Um, this week you really could start to feel a new connection to your higher self, to a higher power, to um, a different side to yourself. And actually, uh, somebody posted that they keep drawing this card recently. And I replied and said, this could also be a relationship with yourself. Um, so remember that with the Two of Cups, if you pull your own cards at all, the Two of Cups can be relationships with others, but it can also be your relationship with yourself. Um, for you this week, I feel like it's kind of twofold. Uh, it's going to be a new balance and connection to yourself, to your higher self, to a side to yourself that maybe you have kind of left let drift uh, drift away for a little while you're going to be kind of like finding that being pulled back to you a, a side to yourself that maybe you haven't gotten to express in a while you're going to feel a lot more connected to that side of yourself and this will be in thanks to your higher self so pay attention also to to dreams especially you know the like Pisces and the Cancer sign are all both water signs and they are very much about dreams and intuition. So pay attention to your dreams this week for sure. Um, your mantra for the week is I am water. So again, oh, look, look how beautiful that is. Oh, those cards are perfect together. Uh, this week, it's a, it's about flow for you. I, and I, you're going to be finding, it's, it just feels like this really nice, flowing, beautiful energy. And I think you're going to be finding that you maybe have felt a little stuck or a little stagnant. And this week, you really are going to be just kind of in this, in this flow. With that, with the flow and with the water energy does come a lot of heightened emotions. So if you are kind of reconciling and connecting with this part of yourself that maybe has been drifting out to sea for a while and you're finally bringing it to shore to connect with that could be very emotional for you so be prepared for the emotions uh some of your dreams may bring up some things for you that kind of trigger some some emotional feelings so don't be surprised if some tears happen this week but remember tears are cleansing tears are releasing so allow those tears to flow and then also with the water message is if you come across any uh situations this week that cause you to feel stuck or um, maybe to where you have to like shift gears, kind of be like water and be flowing. Allow yourself to be free flowing. If plans have to change last minute, even though that might be frustrating, allow those plans to change and kind of just go with the flow and see where it takes you. And really listen to your intuition this week. It's gonna be speaking very loudly for you. Alrighty, moving on. Moving on to option two. If you chose option two, 
we have such good weeks for everybody and it really does feel like something has shifted i was going to say that at the beginning of the video like it feels like something has really shifted there's this like a lightness to the energy there's kind of like a, a joy to the energy that almost feels like it's been missing for a, a little while now and i didn't know if it was just because i'm able to finally have my doors open the sun's been shining the fresh air's flown through my house and i'm like all right is this just me that's feeling like yeah uh, or is this the collective? And I think that it's kind of going on for the collective. Like, you know, I mean, this option one had a pretty good, uh, good energy going with it. And option two, y'all really have some good energy here. We got the milk and honey, which is blessings coming to fruition. Uh, the universe kind of giving you these, these gifts, this abundance. Um, and then we also have the wheel here uh, in the upright position. So this is good fortune, good things coming in the tide turning um, to bring in abundance, blessings, rainbows, sunshine, all the good stuff. And then to top it off, your mantra for this week, I am positive. Literally, like, look at this beautiful, sunshiny, happy card. Uh, with this, I do want to say I am positive. So this is something you can say to yourself throughout the week as needed. I am positive. I am positive. Remember, being positive does not mean that you ignore the the difficult feelings and situations and things. It doesn't mean that you put these blinders on and all you see is the rainbow, right? I am positive is just more like what I'm trying to shift my mindset because sometimes I can get stuck in a negative mindset. As somebody who has dealt with depression and anxiety, it can be easy sometimes to fall into those that type of mindset. So what I try to do and when I think of I am positive, I may, you know, a situation, I'm trying to think of something that Okay, this is a really mundane example, um, but the dishes. Okay, so if I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to do the dishes. I'm overwhelmed. I've put them off and now the sink is literally overflowing with dishes. This is stressing me out because I have other things I need to be doing, other things I want to be doing. Um, I don't want to be doing these dishes. This sucks. And then too, you can get in the, the, the snowball effect of like, oh my God, why do I always do this? I always leave the dishes to the last minute. I, why can't I do the dishes on time? And you start to beat yourself up. Instead, I am positive mindset switch could be, yeah, it sucks to have to do these dishes. And maybe I, in the future, could be a little bit more proactive about staying consistent with the dishes. But you know what? At least I have dishes to do. A dirty sink filled with dishes means that we have food to eat. You know, so it's kind of more about like, I am positive. It's not ignoring, ignoring the one thing and only focusing on the good. It's kind of about having a balance of that. Anyway, moving on to this uh excellent week for you you i would not be surprised if some sort of like little random blessing happens for you so this could be maybe somebody paying for your coffee this week or uh you could even be receiving a check in the mail that you totally forgot about like a, a rebate that you got or something um so some sort of little blessing this could even be like a friend contacting you that you haven't talked to in forever and they want to go out to coffee with you and you're like oh my god yes like that's awesome it's so good to see you this could be even something bigger like a job promotion or a raise or something like that. Um, I don't want to rain on the parade, but with the wheel card, you know, the wheel does turn. So be prepared. Um, and that could be why you got this card as well. I am positive. Be prepared for the turn. So I'm not saying that like this week is great for you. So then that means the next week is going to suck. I'm not saying that whatsoever. Uh, it's more about be grateful be grateful when the times are good and be hopeful when the times are bad. I guess that's kind of a good way to put it. And I don't even want to say necessarily when the times are bad, but this is going to be a really awesome week for you, it feels like. Um, so don't get used to it. No, <laughs> That's not what I mean. But, you know, I hope you know what I mean. It's going to be a good week for you. Be positive when if if the tides change for you, it, when the wheel turns. Um, okay, now I'm rambling and I don't even know what I'm saying and I feel like I just keep like digging holes for myself. So with that, we are going to end it here. Thank you for spending this time with me. Uh, let me know down below what you chose, which cards you chose, and talk to you later. All right, bye.